I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Well, I'm Chris Pajak for the Red Men TV. A rather happy Chris Pajak. A, a happy and partly blinded Chris Pajak from the light on top of the camera. It's really bright today, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Um, it's so bright that I've completely forgotten the first half of the game. No, no, I'm kidding. I was sat on row five again, so I couldn't tell you anything that happened. A player scored. Apparently, according to Paul at half time when we met him, it was Nathaniel Klein. Somebody flicked the ball. It went over the keeper, got cleared off the line, and apparently a player scored a goal. I was happy. Aubrey was happy. Everybody around us was happy. Nobody really knew why. But we were all happy <laughs> together. Um, second half, though, I did get to see a lot more of what was going on. And I was just so, so impressed with Roberto Firmino. Uh, I thought he just absolutely ran the game for us. I thought everything about him. He, You know what You know what was it was with Roberto Firmino? He was a, he's a £29 million pound player. He needed to be the best player on the pitch for that game. And he actually was. Now, it's not very often that you, you get to say that about somebody. You, you know, how many times when we've talked about loan deals in the past have you gone, we need to loan him out and he needs to be the best player in the championship. Well, tonight, Roberto Firmino needed to be the best player on that park. And he was the best player on that park by a country mile. His touches were absolutely brilliant. He sped the game up. He was dynamic. He picked the ball up. He moved it wide with pace he actually played the ball in front of Jordan I at times it was just absolutely superb to watch um a few a few disappointments throughout the game uh Jordan I but I was a little bit disappointed about um for me he just wasn't good enough I think probably the last 15 minutes he seemed to get his bottle back but he's playing with he was playing with no fear and now he's playing with I don't know what happened. He's just he's just incredibly scared when he gets the ball. Like he's he doesn't want to go past somebody and, and you know really commit himself because he doesn't want to doesn't want to mess up and that needs to go. He needs to play with absolutely no fear again. But there's so many positives to be taken. I don't want to just focus on the negatives and stuff. I mean, for me, um, you can look at Nathaniel Klein as a left back. I thought he played really well. You know, he obviously gets the goal, but he got forward really well. He got to the byline a couple of times as well. Teixeira's set play delivery was absolutely fantastic. The best that I've seen from a player since Steven Gerrard left the club. Two corners in front of me that actually went into the box. Two corners in the box, not the first man. I'll let that sink in for a second. Uh, and obviously as well, that free kick. I mean, that's a great save by the keeper. And Adam Bogdan um, thought he was superb. I didn't think he put a foot wrong all day. The first save for me was the best one, where he gets down lower, his left-hand side, as the, as the players are out to bend it round him. Like, uh, but you know what? We were just the better side today. We dominated Bournemouth, and we deserved the victory, and we deserved to go through into the next round. And finally, we've got a win on the Jürgen Klopp. Just another little bit more weight off our back. Now the players have to go to Stamford Bridge on Saturday and defeat Chelsea and get Jose Marino the sack and I'll be really, really fucking happy. Hello, welcome to the Redmen TV. Liverpool won! Yes! 